Okay, today is Saturday and I have two box openings as we can see. And um, I did some pre-cutting, so we're gonna get into it. I, again, found these um, amazing finds on eBay and I got them for really, really, really great deals. And one is supposed to be an interactive doll and the other one is supposed to be a reborn with a interactive mechanism like a voice box. Um, so we're going to get into this and see what we got. This is the smallest box, so we'll start with that one. Um, again, these are old dolls. I like vintage dolls. I like interactive dolls. So we're going to see what's in here. Um, looks like they just have her stuff. This doll is from 19, I'm sorry, like 2002 or something of that nature. Oh, she's an older doll. But the reason I got this one is because she's interactive. She talks and moves her hand. She's supposed to be a baby um, alive or something of that nature where she does all these amazing things. Now, of course, she's old and she looks a little tattered and worn. But I got her because she's supposed to do these interactive things. And that's what I want to know if she works or not. So what I'll do is put some batteries in her because I bought some new batteries. I don't think she... I have to get some batteries in her and come back and see if she works. Her name is going to be Caitlin Riel, and she's supposed to move her hands and talk. And they said she's speaking Spanish too, maybe. They're not really sure. But she is really dusty and dirty. So we're going to leave her in this box. And I'm going to come back later and see if she works. And then we'll get her all cleaned up and changed out and all that good stuff. So we just got her because we wanted to see if her mechanisms work because I love interactive dolls. The next one is going to be a Reborn. Um, and again, like I said, I got really, really great deals on these, um, these, uh, these babies. And again, I like interactive and my main collection, of course, is my lifelike and reborn, realborn dolls. Um, but I do collect all kinds of dolls and I am a huge fan of vintage dolls, like old dolls. And I'm a huge fan of interactive dolls. If they talk, if they cry, if they laugh, if they move. Then I like those kind of dolls for some reason. So my collection is made up of a little of everything. So this baby is an old baby too. I'm not sure from what year. I can't remember at this time. But he's an older baby. And he is, um, he has heart vinyl. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and pull him out. Oh, now he appears to be in really great shape. He looks almost like he's brand new um, we're gonna take him out and I think he came with his christening blanket or cloth and a christening pillow and that's all that's in this box this baby is going to be named Ian Alexander so this is going to be Ian Alexander. Um, I just thought it was a cute name, especially, you know, I look at my babies when I find them and I look at them to see what they look like. And I kind of try to find a name. Um, he looks like he's in really, really good shape. Um, of course, he has on looks like a glued on wig. He looks like some sort of christening baby. His vinyl is hard, like I said. He does have a cloth body. But he looks to be in really, really good shape. Like, almost like brand new. Like he has a cloth body. Um, there's a couple of stains on it, they said. But he looks to be in really good shape. Um, supposed to have a voice box in him as well. And they said if you press the voice box, if it's working properly... He snores, so we're going to put batteries in him, too, and see if he works, and we're going to see if uh, Miss Caitlin Riel works. <laughs> She's dirty, and we're going to see if Ian Alexander works. 
and then we'll do a video coming back to see um, how these babies do he is hard he's hard it's not vinyl I mean it's vinyl it almost feels like porcelain but he's just a hard vinyl um, I bought him because I like the um, fact that he was really cheap <laughs> like ten dollars cheap <laughs> I think it cost me more to ship him than it did for me to pay for him altogether I think I might have spent twenty dollars and the same thing with her. I got her as on a bid at eBay, and the bid was ninety nine cents. I bid ninety nine cents, and I got her for ninety nine cents. I think it was like eight dollars to ship her, eight eighty or something. But anyway, I think I paid like less than ten dollars, like nine seventy nine for her, and I think I got him for like um, ten dollars, and it was like ten dollars to ship him, so like twenty dollars or twenty dollars and fifteen cents or something. But anyway. Oh, he has on a diaper. Okay, they had him on a cloth, like a, a diaper. Oh, okay, they had a diaper on him. Okay. But we'll go and we'll put batteries in and we'll see if they work. So this is Ian. And this is Caitlin. <laughs> and they look both look a little messy right now, but I'll get them cleaned up and get them, see if they do what they're supposed to do. And we'll figure out if they work. All right, so those are my little my little finds. They're not reborns, but they're interactive. He's supposed to snore, and she is supposed to move her hands and talk and sing or something in English or Spanish or both. We're not sure, but we'll find out, and we'll come back with a video showing what they do. And I will get them cleaned up and show you what they look like once they're cleaned up with some regular clothes because he looks like a little prairie church um like a christening like a christening outfit um and she is looking a horrible mess but yeah my fines for all of what thirty dollars or less <laughs> all right talk to you guys later and if they do what they're supposed to do then it's going to be actually fun to have them in my collection because again they're interactive all right talk to you later um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And again, my collection is dolls of all kind. I am a doll collector, not just a reborn or lifelike doll collector. Although those are my favorites and those are the things that I am really focused on right now. But I still like interactive dolls. So whenever I find a nice interactive doll for a really, really good price or get a great bid for 99 cents or spend less than $10 on a doll and she's interactive, then I'll get it has to do something though they have to be interactive i like dolls that say or do something other than that i you know love the reborns and the lifelike dolls all right so this is ian alexander and this is caitlin Rael. welcome babies to our collection talk to you later bye